Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and I'm going to make something today that uh, I don't think I've ever actually made. I, when I lived in upstate New York I had a Puerto Rican friend who took me to this like really out of the way hole in the wall Puerto Rican restaurant and they served like this just incredible pork that was the, the guy had actually roasted in, in an entire pig and um, it was just it was so good so I want to try to, to do that recreate that and one of the things I do remember that it had a lot of garlic so I did some research on Puerto Rican roast pork and did notice that there were a lot of different ways to make it but it all called with like a ton of garlic so this is kind of like a mashup of several different recipes that sounded like it might be good uh, so I'm gonna go with this so I have here a whole clove of garlic that I've chopped up and I'm going to put this right into the mini food processor. And boy, that's strong. I can smell that garlic. And, oops, missed some garlic. Don't want to miss any garlic. Okay, to that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of oregano, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and then I'm going to add some olive oil, uh, just enough to, might be like two or three tablespoons. Just pulse this up. Just to kind of get a nice paste. Mm. Oh man, that smells good. Okay, let me get the pork. Most of the recipes that I saw did call for using uh, a, a fresh pork picnic with the skin. So I did find a, a nice uh, seven pound picnic ham uh, with the skin on. It looks beautiful. So what I'm just going to do is cut some, some slashes in there because you want this this, this paste, this garlic rub to really get down in there, penetrate and marinate. Score that down in there really good. Let's add our garlic paste. Just rub it all over it, rub it down in. Get it down in there good. It smells really good. Okay, get the idea. Okay, I've coated the pork really well. <coughs> so let's go ahead and add this in these big two and a half gallon Ziploc bags. And try not to make a mess, but usually we do. So let's just add the rest of this garlic mixture to the bag. Oh, boy, that smells so good. Get that down into the cracks and crevices. Zip it up and 
get out excess air. And then I'll periodically be turning this around the fridge just to kind of pat it around so that it gets marinated in there. And then we'll see this on the grill tomorrow. Let's get this pork going. Put in the refrigerator overnight. It's smelling good. I'm not going to be using the offset smoker for this. I'm going to be doing it indirect. So what I've got here is pork picnic, and I'm going to put it with this fat side facing the fire. Yeah, that smells good. And I've got a piece of post oak on there. I'm just going to let this go for several hours. Check on it from time to time and uh, I'll be back, so stay tuned. Oh man, that's looking good. <clears throat> it's been about two hours. I'm just gonna spritz it really good with some mixture of vinegar and water. It's gonna keep it moist. Been going at around 325. Looks like I gotta add some more coals here to get this going. Just back up the temperature, but man, I wish everyone could smell that. That smells so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna continue on, so stay tuned. Okay, it's been going for five hours. Time to come off. Got an internal temperature of 190. And it looks Absolutely awesome. So I'm just going to transfer this to this cutting board, bring it inside, tent it, and let it rest for a little while. Ah. Oh, that's hot. See how that tastes, though. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. It's hot, but oh my god. I hope the rest of this tastes as good. Okay, I'm just gonna let this rest. I'll be back and finish it. Pork has been resting for 30 minutes and it's still really hot. Let's see how we did here. This is the skin. So I'm just gonna pull that off. Boy, that tastes so good. So let's just cut into this a little bit, see what we got. Oh, that looks really good. Now this isn't going to be for pulled pork, so we're just going to eat this like this. With some rice, a chopped salad, so I just want to give this a taste. Mm. Still really hot. <clears throat> Those flavors are absolutely awesome. Very tender, very juicy. Definitely will be doing this again. There you go. That's a Puerto Rican style roast pork on the grill.